butterflies welcome back to my channel brushfly mua if you're new here hi my name is mercedes and i'm the face behind brushfly mua and if you are new remember to hit that subscribe button and if you're not welcome back so today i've decided to do something a little different um yeah i have decided to do a bit of a challenge for myself so i have a selection of Japanese and Korean style foods and I'm going to be testing them out and then I'm going to be grabbing like uh, my eyeshadow palettes and creating a look based on the colours of the food. I know it's a bit random, I don't know how it's going to turn out. I did something like this before when I had my old channel. Um, I was eating some sweets and I chose eyeshadow shades based on the colour of the sweets I was eating and I actually need to refilm that one because it was quite a fun video to do but yeah I've decided to do it while trying certain Japanese and Korean style foods and um, my daughter my oldest is absolutely obsessed with Japan um, Korea k-pop k-dramas so we have an abundance of this style of food at the moment and I just thought it would be something different and um, like when you're doing makeup YouTube sometimes you kind of hit a wall and you kind of need a bit of inspiration just to kind of give you that oomph to want to carry on filming and I was like you know what I need something different so yeah this is the weirdness and difference that we're gonna do today I hope you like my very strange earrings today um, they're very heavy but they're really funky and cool and I've had them for quite a long time. I found them in a charity shop. And my daughter pointed them out the other day and was like, Mummy, you've never worn those. So I decided today would be the day. And I'm just going to see if I can adjust the lighting because I don't know how bright or dim this lighting is. <laughs> We've, I guess, reached the start of autumn. Um, in the UK, it's decided to do torrential rain. So. Okay, so I've just opened the blinds a smidgen more in the hopes it will let a bit more light in. I do use natural lighting for my videos, um, just because I think you should be able to see the naturalness of the makeup and not necessarily what fluorescent lights are doing to the makeup to make it look better or anything. I think it's good to see makeup in its natural-ish state. Um, yeah, let's dive straight in. I have already primed my eyes and I need to move my fringe because that's going to get in the way. Okay, so my fringe is out of the way and I guess the first thing we're going to try is some mochi. So we actually found this in our local Sainsbury's. Um, my daughter's friend told her that random Japanese foods and drinks, so she was straight down there. This one I have actually tried and it is a very weird one not my favorite um and it is a mochi but it's red bean <laughs> other mochis i've tried they've been really sweet this is sweet but the red bean also gives it a weird kind of texture so oh it's very powdery as well so this is what mochi looks like so my first shade is not going to be the white doughy shade. I'm going to see what's inside. So Okay, it's as weird as I remember. And it kind of has that dark, it's like a dark reddish brown sludge in the middle. Um. Mochi is a very weird texture. I actually don't mind it when it's not got red bean in it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I probably looked absolutely horrendous talking and eating and I'm really sorry. But yeah, so the first shade I'm going to use is something kind of similar to that. Okay, so the palette I have chosen for the first shade is my I Heart Revolution Pumpkin Pie. So... I thought it'd be a good one to pull out, seeing as it's feeling very full, very autumn at the moment. 
and the shade that I want to go into is called Ground Ginger. It's this shade here. I think it's one of the closest ones I have in my collection that sort of represents the um, Red Bean Mochi. So I'm going to take that and I'm just dabbing it on my brush. I'm using a Fenty Beauty one, it's the 210 and it's a blending brush. Okay, that is actually a really beautiful pigmented shade. Goes on so well. I have been a bit messy today. You can kind of see that I haven't filmed very much lately. Or I have filmed a few things, but they kind of been like um, voiceover type videos. I don't know whether they'll be up first or whether this will. Um, yeah. And because the outside of the mochi was kind of a lighter shade, I'm going to grab a bit of this shade here, which is Feasting. And I'm just going to use the same fluffy brush. And I'm just going to go up here and just sort of blend it out so it's not so harsh. Okay, so that is the shades from the Pumpkin Pie palette. They are actually really, really nice shades. Um, I do a shop my stash quite often, so I think I'm definitely going to have to be pulling this palette out very soon from shop my stash. This one I used so much last year, I absolutely loved it. Like, I've already hit pan on this shade here. It's just a really nice autumn toned palette. So, there's that one. What? Are we going to try next okay so the next foods is this um so this is an organic sea veg crispy it's chili flavor and it's toasted nori which i guess is toasted seaweed um yeah so this is actually from my youngest daughter she's gluten intolerant and seaweed is gluten free um so yeah, she picked this up when we went to TK Maxx the other day. Um, she seemed happy, she seemed to like it, so I'm going to open it. Um, if my kids ever watch this, they're probably going to murder me for stealing their food. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's very dark green. And it literally just looks like a wafer thin bit of cabbage that's dried. Um, but it's not completely like dried that it's going to snap, like it does crackle a little bit, but it's, I don't know, it's a strange texture. So it's chilli flavour, so I'm probably going to choke <laughs> on this. Um, oh god, oh god, oh dear, okay, right, I've just wrapped it up so it's a bit easier to eat. Okay, so I have <coughs> tried this yesterday, and it is, it's not, like, completely horrendous, but it's a very acquired taste. Um, it's kind of got a very sea, <laughs> maybe come fishy undertone. Um, it's not dreadful, but it's strange. I mean, yeah, okay, I don't, I don't know which one's worse, I think the weird red bean mochi is definitely worse than the toasted nori. So for the dark green shade that I desire for this look, I'm going to be pulling out my XX Revolution and the Matrix palette, this is the Trinity Luxe one, and I do really like this palette but I've not pulled it out very often so I actually think it's kind of good doing a challenge like this because I'm looking through my makeup and actually I should check my teeth make sure I ain't got no seaweed stuck in it um 
So the shade I want to take from this palette is this one here. It's a very dark green, kind of gives me the seaweed vibes. So now I'm just taking an I Heart Revolution fluffy brush um, and I'm just going to dab it into that dark green shade. And I'm going to go on the outer corner. It's actually not as dark as I expected it to be. Like when you look in the pan, it might look different in the camera, but to me it looks like a very dark foresty green. But on the lid, it's still a quite a nice dark green. Oh my God, I can still taste that seaweed. Um, But it's not as dark as I expected it to be. Okay, so I guess that is the dark green shade. Um, I don't know how I feel about this look right now. It's not horrendous. I've kind of done similar autumn style looks like this before using these tones. Um, ooh, seaweed. Um, yeah, let's move on to the next one. So the next item of food is a mango chocolate munch mochi. Um, I'm definitely going to get told off if my daughter ever sees this. Um, so yeah, this one I've not tried before. She seemed to really like it, but it has been chucked in the fridge and forgotten about for a couple of weeks. So I'm hoping she won't mind if I steal one. So this is what this one looks like. It's a lot smaller than the first one with the red bean and smells a lot nicer. So I'm just going to put that back in the box. Put that over there. Um, so yeah, it has that same sort of texture but it does feel a bit harder than the other mochi so gonna give this one a go um it's weird <laughs> Okay, that one's really weird. It's kind of really sweet, but also savoury. Yeah, I think because it's like a doble kind of thing, it's like a sweet doble. Duh. I should have known that. Okay, I've taken the remnants off of my lips <laughs> um, from the powder. It's very powdery. And the palette I'm going to use for that sort of colour is my Kylie Cosmetics and Coco one. And we sort of have this yellowy shade here. I kind of feel because it is a sort of paler yellow tone, um, this one hopefully will work. So I'm going in with just a number seven brush. It doesn't really have any numbers on it, but I use it to sort of pack color in. So I'm gonna go over here. I do have to say, it's turning out to be a very random eye look. <laughs> okay, the Kylie Cosmetics one is very powdery. Um, definitely going to have to try and tidy up a little bit, but random eye look so far. So what is the next? Bit of food. So the next one is a rice cake. Um, I think this one is from Korea or it was made in Korea. Um, yeah, I already know I like this one. So I'm happy about eating this one. So 
so this is the rice cake it's a very sort of um shiny orangey tone um let's give it a go okay so this has a very sort of savoury tone to it but then like a sweet aftertaste it's actually really nice and um, because it kind of has that um check my teeth um <laughs> shininess to it i was originally going to go in with like the bright like orangey and yellow and mix them together but because it's got that shininess to it i think i might go in with like this goldy sort of um metallic shade oh and it's from the so super spice palette with revolution so I'm going to take my finger and see how that works. And I just want it sort of in the middle. I don't want to cover up both of the colours completely. I don't think that's working as well as I expected so I think I'm going to grab my brush and my setting spray and I'm just going to dampen down my brush I'm using the I Heart Revolution Salted Caramel and I'm just going to go in with the damp brush into that shiny goldy shade Just gonna use my fan to dry down the shade and I'm just gonna go ahead and top up the other colours because some of them got a bit faded um I might even take that yellow tone and go under my lash line and I'm just using the hourglass number 10 brush which I got from the lovely Dion Loves Maker. Okay, so I did that under my lash line because I'm finding that the Kylie one is just disappearing, the yellow shade, so I don't mind it being under my lash line because if it fades, I'm not gonna care so much. But I have one last thing which is a drink and I might try and see if I have an inner corner highlight shade for the drink. The drink I have today is a green tea so I'm going to show you a clip it of clip it? Is that the right thing? A clip of me making this drink from the packet of Japanese drink green tea in an instant Mine is a tad cold now, um, because I did make it quite a while ago, but it's still nice and I do actually really enjoy green tea, jasmine tea, so this is not horrendous. The only thing is the shade of the packet is very bright green, um, whereas this is more of like a apple juice kind of colour. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette, and I'm going to look for a kind of shimmery sort of apple juicy shade um i think it's like a maybe kind of like that one but i kind of want to add a bit of green in so i'm gonna do that and i'm just gonna grab this one from beauty blender again another one the lovely dion sent me i'm just gonna like dust the brush over them and grab up a bit of both pigments and just okay so I have some inner corner highlight I need to just tidy up my face and put on a lipstick and then we see how this final look really looks.
Okay, so this is the finished look. Do you have to say, I'm actually kind of liking it. I don't know whether the lipstick I've chosen goes very well with the eye look, but I wanted to try out my Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in Gingerbread Man. Wow, the heavens have just opened. Okay, garden, getting yump. Um, yeah, so I do actually really like the eye look today. I think the palettes that I chose went quite well with the weirdness of food eating. Um, obviously my eye Heart Revolution Pumpkin Pie palette it is one of my favourites. I will be bringing it back out very soon to play with. It's very autumnal, gives some really nice autumn looks. So yeah, I love this palette. My Revolution and Soph Super Spice palette. Again, I do really like this. I think it's actually been quite good doing this today because although I do a shop my stash, quite often it's how I feel on the day. And I will look through my collection and I'll select a couple of palettes to try out and play with. But it's the theme that I'm feeling at the time. So it might be very pink toned, it might be very orange toned, it might be very blue. And sometimes it's nice to just grab other things randomly throughout the month as well. So yeah, I mean it's definitely making me think, oh next time I think I want to grab that palette and want to grab that palette. So I have enjoyed doing this. Obviously my Take Me Back to Brazil palette, um, I did only use like the little sparkly shades at the bottom. I think compared to the other palettes that I've used today, this one and this one have not been great. They've kind of faded or they're not overly pigmented. So, you know, yeah. But the other three, like the Matrix Trinity Luxe one from XX Revolution, I love how pigmented this is, it's so bright. I definitely think in my next rotation of my shop, my stash, I think I need to pull out these three. I need to make a mental note that these three palettes are what I actually want to use next time. I only did one recently though, so it's going to be a few weeks till I do a shop, my stash, but yeah, mental note to me, I want to use these. So I have actually really enjoyed doing this, I think it's been quite fun testing out foods that I wouldn't normally eat or try, but also using it as a challenge. Um, if my eye this side looks a little bit watery, I was brushing my fringe down and one of my hairs fell out and poked me in my eyeball, and then you know when you stand there for a few minutes trying to get this hair out? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it was a really fun thing to do. It's different. It's a challenge. You have to do a makeup look based on the food you're eating or based on the colour of the food you're eating. So have you done one of these before? I guess it's a bit like a palette bingo, isn't it? I've seen other YouTubers do that where they play bingo with their palette and they choose random different shades. I guess this is kind of like it. A food palette bingo. Um. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this random little challenge video. If you want to do a random challenge video like this, tag me in it. I would love to see the looks you come up with. Um, yeah, I'm feeling very strange and not so hungry today while I'm filming, funnily enough. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there and I will see you all in my next one. Take care. Bye.